What is up guys? Welcome to the vlog. Uh, today we're at Driven 2022. Uh, this is my first time being at a show and I'm super excited. We're currently waiting in line. It's pretty noisy. It's very busy. Um, can't wait to see what's inside. We're inside. I have no idea where to start. Sorry. Cool, there's a Toyota here. New GR86. Love the wheels of the new G86. A lot of this video is just going to be me walking around and looking at cards since I don't really know what else to do. This is so many never seen before for me. The right hand drive. I feel like what I'm doing here is how a lot of new people are gonna experience going to a show. You don't really know anyone, you don't know what to do, you're really just looking around. And that's, I think, the main part of shows, is to just walk around and admire the builds that people bring. These are my two favorites for the, this floor. There's still a few more floors we have to go down to see the rest. This is wild. Two lines. This is gorgeous. This is pretty interesting. A cream, uh, like a minty cream Art 7. Lambo doors. And it's a JDM one. It's not a deal. No 
idea what these wheels are. They remind me of like the Varus wheels. Another Evo. I never see the older Evos outside on the streets ever. Like I've seen Evo tents, but never the older ones. Beautiful Honda right here. I almost bought one of these before getting this one. I've seen this white FRS the other day actually, I'm not even sure. Super chill guy. S2K is a green carbon. I actually don't know what this carbon is called, but it looks like goldish green in the sun. And then the work wheels, so cool. over this clip because there was some copyrighted music playing in the background but um, yeah so far I'm really enjoying the show it was really cool to see so many different builds uh, I didn't realize that it would be this noisy on the camera <laughs> next time I'm gonna invest in like a better mic <laughs> for sure
This was really cool. Uh, the show had this F1 car, not F1, but a Formula car, and they had this game set up next to it where you could try to take off a wheel as fast as you can, like the pit stop challenge. Uh, I didn't try it, but you can see this dude was, I think this dude was like the fastest there that day. Again, I have no idea what I'm saying here because it's still very noisy. Um, the compressor for that last game is really loud, and like you could hear it from anywhere on this floor. Um, but I'm just saying, like these are some really cool cars. I enjoy it. NSX, of course, 911. There were also other booths set up that were like selling merchandise, like uh, shift knobs, T-shirts with car prints, um, people selling banners. Uh, cool stuff. I didn't get to sh uh, record any of that because I didn't want to get in their faces with a camera. Um, but there were also other games and activities set up. Like on the top floor, I didn't show it, but there were some racing sims set up. And uh, anybody could play and it looked really cool. And there were some other things set up around, but I don't remember what they were. Now this really caught my attention obviously because it's a Celica, just like I have. And this is one of those things I think is really great about shows is that you can see cars that you have like the same model and you can see what's possible, what can be done to them. 
how how good they can look right it gives you so much like motivation or for me it gives me motivation and it just gives me ideas and i feel inspired when i see cars like this and when i feel inspired of course it makes me want to work on my car even more and it just adds to the fun Kinsons? Kinsons? I wish I knew more about stuff. Ooh, mm -hmm. Classic Mustang, also a dream car. There's a lot of like ZRZ FRSs to be assessing that. It's a very popular car. Another thing that I was excited about for this show were the guests. So at this show, the guests were uh, Eliminate and Kings Must Rise. Now, if you don't know those guys and you're watching my video, I don't know how you don't know them. Um, but there are some really big car YouTubers that I enjoy watching and I've been watching for years. And they're both at this show holding like a meet and greet type of thing. They have like a booth where they're meeting people. And um, I couldn't find them until like the very end of the show. Dude, Illuminate and Kings to Survive are here at the meet. I'm really trying to say hi to them. There's a big line though. Oh my god, I'm so excited to say hi. I did have to wait in line for a while, but I finally got to meet Randy from Eliminate, and it was so cool, but looking back at this, I feel like so embarrassed because they were cool, and I don't know if I was like, cool enough, did I match the vibe, was it good? It's just, how do you react when you meet people that you've been like, looking up and watching for ages, right? I also got a photo with Birdie from Kings Must Rise, and I also bought a jet tag from him as well. Um, both these dudes were like super chill and it was really cool to meet them and take photos but man i just feel so embarrassed at the same time i hope i'm not the only person that feels this way when you like meet people like this at this point in the show we were getting pretty close to the end of the day uh, a lot of cars were starting to leave and it was starting to get a little rowdy because some of the cars were being wild uh, here's a clip that i got And that pretty much wraps up the video. I uh, I know it didn't seem like I did a lot, and I guess I didn't, mostly just walking around, but I really enjoyed myself. I feel like I had a lot of fun. Uh, I want to go to more events like this, and if you never been to one, I suggest you try it. Okay, I've just left Riven, Toronto, 2022. I got to see so many cool cars. We got to meet the guys from Eliminate and the guys from Kings of Rise. And I got Jet Tag from Kings of Rise. Very cool day.